Brenda Lip again and welcome to our Thursday morning ring. Now if today is Thursday, what day was it yesterday? Wednesday, very good. And if today is Thursday, what day is coming next? Friday, that's right. Okay, so can you remember the names of all these days of the week? How many are there? Let's quickly count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days in a week. So can you remember our song to make sure that we know all the names of the week? One, two, three. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good, everyone. Now, can you remember what month we're in? Very good. We are in the month of July of the year 2020. Now, what month comes after July? August. Very good. But what month comes before August? July. That is correct. Now, can you remember the names of all 12 months of the year? Let's sing our song to make sure. One, two, three. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good, everyone. Okay, so let's sing our alphabet song. Are you ready? One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Very good, everyone. Okay. So, we're not going to count today, but I do want you to try and count using your own number chart to see if you can count from a 1 all the way to a 100 and see to what number you can use counters just to make sure that you know exactly how many each number has. Okay, so this week we are talking all about community service. Now we've already said the different types of community service. Some community service you can give, some you can make, and some you can do. But now the real question is, what community service can you do, make, and give? Especially during a nationwide lockdown. Okay, so you can still collect and donate tinned foods um, for both people and animals at welfare centers. You can take them to orphanages, you can take them to hospice centers or different shelters in your area, or you can even take them to the SBCA or the vet if you are helping animals. Now, just if you do take them, remember to spray your hands and the tins with hand sanitizer before you take them. And let them also spray it when you get there and let them spray you when you give them and when you're finished and as soon as you get home wash your hands with soap and water to make sure that there are no bacteria on your hands okay other things you can do is you can um, donate some of your old toys and your old clothes to different orphanages and shelters Make sure that you wash your clothes before you give it to them and give it at least a week before you take it to them and then they will keep it for another week before they will take it because that way there is no way for a virus to be on their clothes because no human has touched it. 
Okay, so how can you donate clothes and toys? Are you gonna go buy them? No, you can if you are able to, that would be great. But what we do is we clean out our cupboards and our toy cupboards and our toy boxes. And if you have a special toy room, even better. You clean it out, you take out all the toys you don't use, you don't play with, all the books you've done reading, everything that you don't use anymore, all the things that don't fit you anymore. And you will pack that away into a bag that you can then take to the different shelters that will use them when they need it. Some other things we can do is we can write thank you cards or thank you notes to those who are helping. So our cashiers, our petrol station attendees, those who are still working like receptionists, some teachers are working in big schools. We have our rubbish collectors that are still working. We also have doctors, vets, nurses. You can write thank you cards to anyone who's working to say thank you for working and making sure that we are all working safely another thing you can do is you can draw pretty pictures that you can then send to or drop off at um, hospitals orphanages and old age homes that they can put up on their walls to help them feel better and to give them art for their wounds so those are just some of the things that we can do right now during lockdown. If you can think of anything else, let us know so that we can help our communities in our areas as well as yours. I hope you all had fun and learned a lot about community service or volunteering. And I'll see you all later for some more fun activities. Bye everyone. Teacher Bernadette and welcome to our Thursday art activity. Now today's art activity we are going to be making our very own face masks. Now we're not going to actually make a mask that you can wear, we are only going to make the print or the, the design of the mask and if you want to make a mask you have to make, make it with some material, you can use an old t-shirt, uh, or you have to go buy some material if you are able to to make the mask that you are going to design so what we're going to need is some a pencil to just draw it and some crayons any colors you want if you want to use cookies of course use cookies you can even paint if you want to paint as long as it's a mask that you think you would wear every day to school so let's get started <music> design that you can either make with material if you have or you can look for this mask if you think you can find it or you're gonna have to ask very very nicely for your mommy to help you make a mask and go buy some material so i hope you all had fun and i'll see you tomorrow for some more fun activities bye everyone